Today I'm going to make homemade dinner rolls. And once you have these, I guarantee you won't be able to go back to store-bought rolls ever again. They're really not that difficult to do, it just takes a little bit of time. And we're going to start with a cup of milk here. This is whole milk and we want this heated to at least 110 degrees. This way when we add the yeast, it'll be activated and our bread will be able to rise. So I'll just add this to my stand mixer and add the yeast. And to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. And the sugar is very important for the yeast. I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes or so. Just to make sure the yeast is activated, it'll start to bubble and create like a film on top. That's how you know that your yeast is not dead. And after a few minutes, you can see that texture's changed and this yeast is good to go. We'll add the rest of our ingredients. I have two more tablespoons of sugar here, one teaspoon of salt, one whole egg. I have three tablespoons of unsalted butter that's softened. Make sure your butter is softened. We'll just incorporate those ingredients. Now I have three cups of all-purpose flour. I want to add this about a cup at a time. Let that incorporate. Make sure you're always scraping down the sides of the bowl so all the flour will get incorporated. Add another cup here. Turn the mixer on. I'm using the dough hook attachment. You could use the paddle attachment if you want, or you could do this by hand. Again, scraping the sides with my rubber spatula. And now we could add our remaining flour. Let that all come together until it starts to resemble a dough. Just make sure we get that last bit of flour so everything gets mixed up. We want to let the mixer run for at least five minutes. This will knead the dough, it'll activate the gluten. This way, make sure we have our dough rise. You'll know it's finished when it starts to pull away from the bowl and it looks elastic. Just like this. See the texture of the dough has changed. It looks a lot smoother. It's starting to pull away from the sides. The dough should be a little bit sticky, but still pull away from your hand. So I have a bowl. I'm going to put a little olive oil. Just brush that around here. And then just add the dough right to that greased bowl. Shape it up a bit. Now you want to let this rest for one to two hours in a warm place. Cover it with a clean dish towel or plastic wrap. Just make sure it's in a warm place and let this proof until it's doubled in size. And after two hours, this looks perfect. I'm going to take this out, put this on a clean work surface, and just shape it up into a log. And from that, I'm just going to split that down the middle. And split those pieces down the middle as well. Usually get about 16 rolls from this. So I'll get three or four from each of those cuts. You don't have to go too crazy with the size here. We're going to put them into a pan and they're going to proof again so they'll be kind of stuck together. I've done this before where I've weighed each one out and it's really not worth the time. So I'm just going to put these in the palm of my hand and roll them into balls. Again roughly the same size but you don't have to go crazy. Just space them out just a bit but they are going to proof again. So they're going to be touching regardless. About that space is fine. And just do this for the rest. Now I have two of these pie dishes. 
You could use a greased baking sheet or nine by 13 brownie pan works. Just make sure whatever you're cooking them in that it's well greased. This way they release easily. So we have all our balls rolled out, cover them with a clean cloth. Let this proof for another hour. And that looks good. These are ready to go. You can see what I'm talking about, how they're touching a bit and they're going to bake all together. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 degrees Celsius. Let these go for 20, 25 minutes and make sure they're on the bottom rack of your oven. This way the tops don't brown too quickly. If they're browning too quickly, just tent them with aluminum foil to prevent them from burning. And 25 minutes later, these are done and these look fantastic and they smell fantastic too. To finish these off, I have a tablespoon of unsalted butter. I'm gonna drizzle some honey on that. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave till it's melted. And just grab a brush here. Like a warm dinner roll right out of the oven, there's really nothing better than this. It's so delicious. Just gonna brush this melted honey butter over the top. And after the butter is brushed on, I like to add a little bit of flaky sea salt as well. And these obviously go with any meal, or they're just great on their own. I'm going to break one open here to show you just how light and fluffy these are inside. The texture is just perfect. And you definitely can't just eat one of these. I'm going to go have a few of these. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Really appreciate you hitting that like button. It helps this channel grow and reach more people. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.